The destiny of the universe. We need to look at the possible outcomes to the fate of the universe. And it was all basically believed to hinge on this thing called the critical density. These are the outcomes of the universe. We have an open universe. This is when the density of the universe is less than the critical density, which means the universe will keep on expanding forever. Another outcome will be the density of the universe is greater than the critical density, which means we have a closed universe, which means the universe expands and then contracts again, and we have a big crunch. And the third one is what's called a flat universe, which is the density is equal to the critical density, which means the universe will keep on expanding forever at an increasingly slower rate until, at infinity, it will stop. We're somewhere here at the moment. The cosmic factor is 1. This is our uh, position in, in time at the moment. And until five years ago, six years ago, we weren't sure uh, which path we were going to take at this time. This is the old picture. And of course, there's actually another alternative which we will look at later. So, you need to know, as far as the open, closed and flat universes are concerned, what is the density and what is the fate of the universe. So, low density, which is less than the critical density for an open universe, and it will expand forever, s slow down, but never stop. Closed is a high density, it's greater than the critical density, and it will p come back to itself, and it will be a great big crunch at the end. The flat universe is where the density is equal to the critical density. It will expand after infinity and then stop. After infinity, it will collapse again. Now we have to come up, up for derivation of the critical density. Now, we have, we're here in the middle of this large, large mass of the universe. And we're able to see a small mass at a very large distance, m, which is uh, um, receding away from us at a speed v. There we go. Now, if we have the kinetic energy of this particle, this small mass, is greater than its potential energy, it's basically going to go to escape, which suggests an open universe. If the kinetic energy is less than its potential energy, its negative potential energy, it will come back. That will be a big crunch. That will be a closed universe. On the other hand, if the kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy, the total energy is going to be equal to zero. Remember, the potential energy is, is a, a negative value. This is when we have the critical density. The derivation is basically... Um, you have to equate the kinetic energy and the potential energy. Let's start with the kinetic energy in terms of the Hubble constant. You know that the kinetic energy of this small mass is equal to half mv squared. But you also know that the Hubble constant says that the v is equal to hr, where r is the distance from us to that mass. So we'll substitute in that in there. And this is how we want to remember the kinetic energy. Now we look at the potential energy, but we have to, t we have to change it into its, into its uh, terms of the density of this mass, this volume of universe. You know the potential energy is equal to gmm over r, rather negative gmm over r. But we have to do it in terms of the density. Density is mass over volume. In other words, mass this mass here, is equal to volume times by density. We're going to substitute this into here. However, volume, as you know, is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So it's rho times 4 thirds pi r cubed. We'll substitute that into this equation. So the potential energy is g, 4 thirds pi r cubed, m over r. And we'll tidy that up a little bit because we can cancel one of these r's. Now, if we have the critical density, the potential energy plus the kinetic energy is equal to zero. Potential energy is negative, kinetic energy is positive. So potential energy will be equal to the kinetic energy in terms of their magnitudes. 
and that's what we must do now. So we say the potential energy is equal to the kinetic energy. In other words, this is a potential energy is equal to the kinetic energy. Um, we notice that we have an m here and an m here, so we can cancel those. And we basically have to rearrange this in terms of the density. And when we do that, we end up with the expression the density, which is a critical density, is equal to 3h squared divided by 8 pi g. Now you can use the Hubble constant to find uh, rho, but remember that if you do that, h must be put into SI units because h is, let's say, 75 kilometers per second per megaparsec. So you must change that into SI units if you want to get a density in SI units. So sometimes you might be asked to calculate a value for the density, but remember, you need to convert.